I'm ready to make the quarter circles in the corner of the fields. Now, how do we do that? It's a little bit tricky. There's a few ways to do it. You could build a circle. This measurement, the one meter, is a radius measure, and it's on here, it's diagonal. But the way circles work, it's also one meter this way here, and one meter here vertically. There's a few ways to do this. I'm gonna actually build a square right here and then uh, build a circle from that. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I have my grid snapping turned on and it's to increment and I decided to go with absolute grid snap. So I have one vertex selected. I'm in edit mode, vertex selected, shift D to duplicate. And if you have increments set up, it should be pretty easy to put it where, uh, whatever increment you want it on. I'm actually gonna make several of these. So I'm just doing shift D several times. All right, I did intentionally left out the one that would be right on the sideline and the end line here. And I'll show you why in a minute. You do need to make sure that uh, your vertex Z coordinates are all zero and that your X and Y are whole numbers not fraction, not uh, decimal numbers. So I'm just checking to make sure all my Z coordinates are good. They're all zero, okay. The reason I built these two, we're gonna connect them. F is to fill. And if you have two vertices selected, it fills with an edge. So we have those two edges we just created. And now we're gonna get this intersection point. And how we do that, I'm switching to edge mode. So I'm gonna select these two edges uh, you could use left click and shift and left click. And when you right click our tiny CAD, uh, we could make a vertex at the intersection, but that won't cut the edge in half. And uh, what I actually wanna do is intersect selected edges. And now when you switch into vertex mode, you can see right here, I, it's really important that you turn on uh, x-ray because if you have duplicate vertices you will be able to select both of them here and I have right here the vertex there's one selected if I highlight two of them it says two of 19 so I'm just making sure that each of these pos oh there we go vertices there's two when I thought there should just be one so how do we fix that? Anytime you have duplicate vertices, if they have the exact same coordinates, which I'm pretty sure these do, M to merge, I'm just gonna go by distance, but you could do center means the center of the multiple vertices because these are in the same, I'm assuming the same coordinates, the center would be the same coordinates as either one, but I'm just gonna go by distance and now highlight that again and we can see one vertex is selected and last one, I highlight that, one vertex, but I now need to switch back to edge mode. I need to get this intersection. So we highlight both edges in edge mode. Right click tiny CAD, intersect selected edges. Back to vertex mode. Looks like we duplicated that vertex by accident. M to merge by distance. Now we have one vertex selected, just double check. Here we have one vertex, one vertex. All right, great. All right, we wanna make this round. So how do we do that? There's a few ways to do it. You could bevel. What I'm gonna do is, let's see, create a circle. The circle I want to build, let's get that image back up. One meter, all right. The circle I wanna build, I can build it off of three points. I'm gonna zoom this way in. And I wanna use one vertex here at the top, one here at the bottom. I can't, I can't precisely put this vertex on because it's not over one down one. Over one down one would be somewhere out here. So to make my circle, I'm gonna use this point, this point, and then I'm gonna use one of the points I created out here. So I have this point holding down shift to multiple select. You need to make sure your 
selecting three vertices, not two, not four, but three. I'm going to go with these three, right click Tiny CAD, and Resurrect Circle Center. This actually is a pretty decent number of segments for my purposes here. There's lots of bad choices. So for example, 14 gives me the exact vertex I want here, but I don't get the one down here. So we're going to crank this up a little bit. I think 16 is the first one that I feel very good about. I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to go with 20. That gives me a nice round curve when I zoom out and deselect. Oh, I think I've just made the choice to go with 20. Uh, I could always undo that and redo it, but at least this way from this zoom, it looks very circular. It looks more like a curve than uh, five segments. All right, so I created a whole lot of stuff I don't need. So how do we delete it? We're still in vertex select, so I can easily just go box select on these, delete, and I'm gonna go with all vertices. Do the same thing here, delete vertices. This I don't need anymore, delete vertices. We're, visually we're good, except I have a feeling I have more than one vertex right here, and it turns out I have two. So M to merge by distance. I probably have the same issue here two vertices, M to merge by distance. And there we go. I have created the uh, one meter quarter circle, well, one millimeter quarter circle right here. And you can go and do that uh, anywhere else that you need to do it. I could have used the bevel tool, but I just wanted to go a circle here. And again, you do need to make sure you're merging. You're most likely gonna create duplicate vertices with the same coordinates and just make sure you're merging all of them, deleting any of the extra geometry that you use to build different pieces.